Hey everyone, today we're going to make a video on how to change dress colors in Photoshop. This comes in handy a lot for us because we do a dress closet for our high school seniors, which allows the girls to pick different dresses and things like that that they want to use for their photo shoots. The problem that we run into a lot of times is the girls don't necessarily like the colors of the dresses, but they like the fabric, or they you know, don't want to use the same dress somebody else wore because somebody else wore it. Um, so being able to change the color in the dress allows us to make a completely different dress um, that nobody else has worn. So this particular dress that we have, um, we have from our, from our dress closet at the studio, we're actually in Costa Rica right now um, photographing her high school senior session. Um, this is a volcano in the background um, in the clouds there. Um, but she wanted a pink dress for her pictures. Um, I don't have a pink dress at the studio, so we chose a purple dress because uh, she likes the fabric and the flowiness of this particular dress. Um, but I told her I could change it to pink later on. So we're going to have this picture here. This is our base picture. We did some editing already. We took mom out and took some of the light stands out. But I'm going to kind of show you how we change the dress color. So we're going to open up an adjustment layer here. We're going to choose hue saturation. Um, this, most people are familiar with, just changes the hue and saturation colors of the overall picture. Uh, right now, we're just going to focus on the dress itself. So we're going to look here. We're going to find a dress color that we like. We're, she wanted a pinkish color. So we're going to go kind of in that range here, I believe. Let's go somewhere like that. So this gives us like kind of like a pastel pink. We can play with saturation if we want to. We can make it more saturated, desaturated. We're going to punch it up a little bit. Again, we're just focusing on the dress at first. We don't care about the rest of this because we're going to mask it all out. And if you want to, you can play with the um, lightness and darkness. Um, I usually don't mess with that too much. We have that there. So now with this, we have our base image here. Um, obviously, the colors are wonky, so we're going to fix all that here. What we're going to do now is we're going to make a selection around the dress. Um, we are on our adjustment layer here, so we're not Actually, we're going to select the, the background layer. We're going to select the dress. This can be a somewhat rough selection because we can mask it out here in a second. We just want to get kind of the, the overall dress selected. Come in here and fine tune a little bit. Deselect some of that. So we're going to make sure that our selection goes all the way up to our arm here and the back of the dress. Deselect some of the ground. All right, that's good for now. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click back onto the adjustment layer. We're gonna be here. So this is white. If you paint black over on this side, um, black will erase everything um, that we did. It will hide that. Um, for that. We're going to want to just paint the dress itself. Um, so now we have the dress selected. We're going to right click. We're going to select inverse. This will select everything else except for the dress. Back on here, uh, we want to hide the effect on the background. We want to hide the trees, the sky, and all of that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use the paint bucket tool. We're going to fill that with black. And so now our color goes back to what it was originally. Because again, we selected everything except for that dress when we did the inverse. Coming in here, we can deselect now. We can zoom in. There's some spots that we missed. So we're going to come back to our um, adjustment layer there. We're going to paint now with white, because what we did with the black was we took away the effects on everything of the black. Now we want to paint the, the effect back in for the hair, or like in this area here. So we're going to paint this in here, painting with white, again, to bring that color that we made on the adjustment layer. Fix some of the purple that you see kind of down in here. Paint some of this back in. We got some over here. Now the cool thing with using the adjustment layers and doing this with an adjustment layer is that we're able to fix any mistakes that we make. Um, let's say, for instance, we came in here, we accidentally painted too much of the skin. We just come back in here with our brush, flip it to the opposite color. Now we're going to erase that mistake that we made. Um, so this allows us to fine tune um, the selections, fine tune the effect that we want it to be and make sure that we get it only on the dress. Pretty good through there. We got some issues down on this side. Now obviously we make a bigger brush. I tend to brush with these with a soft edge rather than a hard edge. That way it kind of fades out 
Um, and it blends in a little bit better on the edges instead of just the, the line. There's a little bit of over here. Fix that. Again, we're just alternating between the white and the black brushes. Um, the white brush will add the color back in. The black brush will re remove the color if we got it too far. So like right here, there's a little bit of bleed that we went over here on our selection. So we can just erase that out with the black brush. I'm just kind of fine tune these edges here in the dress. And again, the reason that we're doing this is that it allows us to buy a single dress and we can use it multiple times and make it a bunch of different colors. So rather than buying you know, six different color dresses, um, this allows us to buy just one dress and we can change the colors to whatever we want to. Now that we have our adjustment layer and we've got everything masked in pretty good, we can click on this adjustment layer again. And so now that everything's masked, we're able to make whatever changes we want to on that dress and it's only affecting the dress because we did all the masking already. Um, so we can play around with it a little bit. We can um, get to a more, sh you know, if you want a red dress or if you want an orange dress, we can get the shade of dress color that we want. And again, you can play with the saturation to make the effects greater or smaller on that. So we're gonna stick with kind of that look. Overall, again, we went from a purple dress to a pink dress for that. So hopefully that helps you guys. Thanks for watching.